didn't think the kids as Christmas presents. We're here in the in our storage unit here in our complex. And we are hiding all of our Christmas presents. So we've got them. And we're gonna just like we kinda Jason and I have gotten things from here and there, so we don't really remember what we have. But we're gonna look at it and go through it and see and maybe show you guys a couple really cool games that we got for Christmas. Wait a minute. In case no, you wanna Mandy get them. Watches. Well, we'll have to let her not watch this one. <laughs> How can you prevent her? <laughs> yeah. But um just in case you guys wanted to get them for Christmas for your kids because they are gonna be so fun. Hi, baby. Okay, Let me so see him. Kemper. <gasps> Hi. So this is gonna be a gift for somebody. Yes. So we accidentally got sent. I guess we bought two of these games on accident. This is one of the games that we got. It should be fun. Nice. Yeah. This is okay, this one game. of the most amazing stores we, that we love. Marbles. Yes. Brain Workshop. They have a couple of retail stores, but you can go on their website and find some amazing games. Yeah, if you if you guys want to have, find some really fun, unique games for your kids, definitely this website. We'll post a link in the description so you guys can go there. But this game looks really fun. I it doesn't really have a picture on it that you guys can. Oh yeah, it does back here. It's just so, a real simple, basic, but like yeah. But oh, it's backwards. Yeah. It looks like it's good quality. Is all their games are good quality. Oh my goodness, like they're made out of wood and steel. They're so good. But yeah, it looks like there's like this little marble that goes on these sticks here and you just have to open and close it and try to get them into these little holes and like wherever it falls you get that many points it looks i mean it's like I said it's simple it's like a table game but the kids will love it it's just kind of one of those fun like simple games and when i was looking i was trying to find games that that are quick to start quick to, easy to learn yeah um so just like another tic-tac-toe yeah tic-tac-two but it doesn't require a lot of pieces. It doesn't require a lot of time to set up, and the kids can just grab and mm -hmm. start playing within a few minutes, and maybe you know a five, ten, fifteen minute game. Yeah. Whereas, because other this games is also play, marbles. Yeah, marbles. Marbles brain <laughs> workshop. But like, like this thing is like heavy. It's not cheap. It's not like some of those cheap games that you buy at like I don't know. It's nice. These are quality games. And then oh, show so what is this not, one? They're not really cheap. But that, but since yeah. we're not buying them. A bunch of yeah toys. Oh yeah, we should we should tell you guys that we mm -hmm. decided this year to not buy our kids toys. Like we're not going to Target and going down the toy aisle and buying them toys because those I think if any parents watching this, they're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, I agree with you because your kids you buy those toys at Target and they get thrown in their room or they're thrown on the floor and the little pieces are never put away or they're just completely broken because they're cheap. So we are not doing toys, we're doing games, and I, we just, you know, like, games that are gonna last. We're not buying the cheap games that they make these days where, you know, Well, we're the tired after every, and, every, after Christmas they have a nice pile of toys and then mm -hmm. within a few weeks they throw them away or they're just sitting around and they've broken. So yeah. we're kind of, <clears throat> we're being conscientious of what we can right. get them that can last longer, that they can enjoy for a greater length of time. Yeah. So that's kind of why we picked to do a bunch of these games. And we got these quality games. This one's called Cat Catamino. That was the cool puzzle. Yeah, one. this one looks fun. I think Kyle will like this game. Yeah. You like, you have this, oh, that's too shiny to really see. Well, right they're, they're, they're all, on their website there's videos and stuff like that. That's that right, there there's are videos. The QR code, so we'll just add that stuff. There. Yeah, we'll add all these <clears throat> games. We'll just add them to the description, because um, these are gonna be really that was heavy too. Mm -hmm. And then, ooh, these games look fun. Jason really is this the one that you were like, oh, this would be fun. I don't well, really know much just, about. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, oh yeah, okay, I know what this is now. Yeah, we'll have to put that one too. But then this one looks really fun. It's this so one's deep. like Sudoku. Yeah, but with Sudoku. colors, it's Sudoku. like with it's with colors instead of numbers. So, like, I've never really played that game, but Jason was saying. Especially, I the colors will the be e will be easier for the kids than with numbers, so they can kind of learn to play. It says, "Oh, uh, it's, this one's heavy too." Different variations. But oh, it's gonna be fun! Like I love it, and Jason and I are excited about this game. Corridor. Oh, corridor! I don't even know. Does it have a thing on the back? How to play? You guys have to go to their website and look at this game. It looks really fun. The kids will like it. Jason and I are gonna like it, and it, this thing's heavy. It is like quality. But it's another marbles game, and then this one under here is uh, chess. 
Vikings but chess. Viking chess, I don't know. It, you, we're going to post all these games because they look like so much fun. And then this one for the littlest guys. Look at this. This is by Hap. A lot of you have probably heard of Hap. But isn't that going to be so fun? It's like a little balance game. So, anyways, we'll post the link to these because they're they're going to be really fun. And I'm excited about doing, like, games and stuff. Our kids are out, out there, but I think the kids are out there. Okay, I got to go see what's going on. Okay, so the kids didn't see anything, but... Um, Ebby was running up and down the apartment hall, so we were trying to make him be quiet. He gets so loud in the hallways out here, but I mean, I guess that's just how it is. Like, I'm sure all the neighbors are used to it. Kids run up and down the halls all the time. Like, we hear them all the time, but I mean, I guess if you live in an apartment complex, you just kind of expect it, but we try to make the kids to be as quiet as possible, just, you know, respect and everything. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so this was one kind of, I guess, toy thing that we got besides our games. This is like, I don't know how many of you are going to remember this, but I remember when I was a kid, I had one. Stretch Armstrong. He's just like this guy that you just stretch. I don't know. I thought it was really cool. I thought Ezra would like him because he's always trying to stretch toys and like play with stuff. Then we got this book because Ezra loves looking at these little Ripley's, believe it or not, things. We got this. This is Melissa, this is Melissa and Doug. Um, I kind of got this for school, but Ezra and Ebby and Shiloh really like just putting the little um, designs on these little boards. So I like that. And then these books are so cool. I just can't get over these books. I think they're so crazy. We got I got these at Sam's, but it's crazy. Um, I don't know if it'll show up in the video. Oh yeah, it does. All you do is like move this thing and it looks like the fish is, fish is swimming. It's so weird. But then it has like the information, like nice um, information. This is an octopus. Look at that. That is just, Jace, do you see that? It's just so weird. I don't know why it's, I'm like obsessed with how weird it looks. But look at it. It's just, it's just they did a good job with it. The, they did a, like yeah. Not, and he's going to love this one, the shark. It's actually pretty smooth. Yeah, it's really cool. So there's two of those, one about jungle, one about ocean. That's what we got for um, Ezra so far anyway. And then this book, the boy, kids love this book. Like these, that we have a couple different years of them, but they just, I don't know, they love looking at through it, this very unusual different things, world records and stuff. And Jason found this. We bought a couple not things, but this one looked, it looked good because it has this, a little like spiral, I don't know. Well, the, <clears throat> it had challenges on there, so. Brain challenges. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give that to Kai. I think he'll like it. And then this, because they don't watch Pokemon or anything, but they like to play the card game. So we let them play and the Kai cards. Has been... Kai has been wanting this for a long time. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, he opened that. Oh, How did he open that? I think it was already. <laughs> oh, ago. look at this. This is Ebby loves Play-Doh. So we got this vintage Play-Doh, which I don't even know. Now that he opened it, I want to look at it. Oh, that's cute. That's awesome. Those actually look like they're decent quality. And then just Play-Doh in there with like stickers. It even smells like old, like regular old Play-Doh. But we got this at Target. You know, Target has all those like vintage toys coming back. So, we thought he would really like that. And, <clears throat> where'd you get this, Chase? Um, I think that was at Staples. This was at no. Staples. So, we thought, I mean, all of our kids are going to like this, but we're going to give it to Ebby. You can find that at other shows. It's, it's from Boogie Board. Oh, it's from Boogie Board, yeah. right? Yeah. So, you basically, you can write on it just like a regular Boogie Board, but it's see-through. So, like, the kids, you can draw, like, faces, or there's some educational stuff on it. Like, it has the alphabet pages here. Yeah, so they can trace it like this and then, so I thought that was really cool. I'm excited about that. Um, and we found this game. I think we got this at Target. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like a fun little game that the, um, like Ezra and Ebby can play together. It's, it's a cooperative game, which is fun. I already showed that one. What else did we get? Oh, yes. Let's see. Well, this uh, this you guys will see later. These are some really cool blocks from actually some friends of mine. Okay. 
We got this for Shepard for his birthday. He's gonna be one. He's really into trucks, but he doesn't have, you know, any trucks. We don't really have any right now out, so he's gonna get a little truck. I like that. And Hanny, this is her Harry Potter shrine oh, yeah. right now. Oh, like, <laughs> she loves Harry Potter. If any of you don't know that, which I'm sure you most of you do, unless you're new to us, because she loves Harry Potter. So we got her this. This is like a um, Wizard World Movie Magic. This is like how they did the movie. Like all the different books and stuff. And then this is a pop-up. Um, like a pop-up scene or something. And then a blanket. A blanket. So she'll really like that. So that's what we've got so far. And then this is our box of family games. Which I think we kind of went through and showed you most of them. This was one I didn't show you yet. It, Jace, is this one from Marbles? That was just from Barnes and Noble. Oh, we got this yeah, at Barnes and Noble right. Prime Club. Um, I honestly don't know much about it, but we'll math. yeah, math game, so. yeah. So it looks really fun, and I think we showed you all these games. So we'll post like, um, we'll post like a link to the marbles where we get all those games from. I don't know if we'll post them individually though. Like that would, if we have to like come in here and like write them individually on here. So I think we'll just it, post. It'll be easy to have links in there. Like yeah. For yeah. each game individually. Yeah. Sure yeah. Okay. We'll do that then. We'll put the links to everything down, down below to all the games that we got because they're going to be so fun. And it's such a better way to do gifts than to just get all the plastic toys that you're, you know, you're going to throw away in like three months anyways. <laughs> Look at this little guy. He's climbing over stuff. He looks so cute. And then Jason and I got each other presents and like we kind of know <laughs> what we got but um, yeah. that'll be fun to show you guys on Christmas that like what we got. Um, so yeah, so we just got a couple more things to get the kids. I'm not sure what else but <gasps> hi, you're so cute. What do you want for Christmas? Huh? <laughs> so anyways, yeah, so look for those posts down there and um, Whatever else we get, we'll probably show. So, anyways, look, you can look at the links down below for all the fun stuff that they're gonna play with and all the cool games. So, yeah, what do you think? This little guy, he found tape. Okay.